room to spare. She's a wine girl. Colder up here. It's nice and warm in the garage. I think he approves. Like, oh, very nice. Yeah, I don't know. We should hook it up to something. Well, everything's up by the shop, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. He's worried about my butt getting cold. I told him, do what Grandpa always did. Just grab an old coat. That's all you need. All right, what should we put on it? Uh, maybe the box grater? Maybe... Wow. This is already the longest I've driven this tractor. It's kind of nice. So that's the tractor that started the obsession. That's just the 800. Ah, uh, but that's Grandpa's backhoe. He's, you know, had it. He built it. He put the Sherman kit together and put it on it. Bought the tractor. It came with a Wagner loader. Um, and that's been in our family since the late 50s, 60s. So, kind of cool to see them both together. I thought it was a button. Seems like oh, it. Oh no. It's not gonna hit when it spins, is it? Oh Seems that nut wall. Yeah. Oh no. Oh darn it. Oh. Oh, that's better. I guess, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I can. And it might. 
Oh, it looks like my PTO moves. Looks like my PTO moves there now. Yeah, and I, there was something snapped off on the inside there. I never really knew. It must have been a snap ring or something. Oh, boy. Yeah. Probably not, huh? Oh, no. Ah, well. We gotta get a different. Just as we suspected, mugs to work out. <laughs> We gotta, we wanna grade the trail, but we gotta get rid of the leaves first, so. He's got that loaded up pretty good. It's not even working. That 29 horse Mollen labors pretty good. It's Well, it does a nice job if nobody's ever had a box grater like that. It really smoothens it out nice. Just a little limestone chip, we'll go over it a couple times a year. Just like concrete underneath there. Well, I was just commenting that little New Holland 29 horse. That thing, if you load that up, it struggles. This thing was like down there. <laughs> you couldn't even hear it bogging. It was no, just spinning, no. but it was spinning both the rear tires. We gotta find something for it to do. Oh, it was spinning the tires? Yeah, it just spin both Oh, tires. I didn't even think it did that. Oh, yeah. In fourth gear, it'll spin both tires. You wow. can't even hear the stupid thing bog. Wow. It's warming up finally. It's good for it. Yeah, very good for it.
really loaded up. But it really does a nice job. You can take a golf cart over this and it is nice and smooth. Look at that little guy up there. Boy, what? He's probably about a foot tall, isn't he? Oh, he's big. Yeah, it's a pelated woodpecker. Hey, you well, it passed a couple tests. Um, it's got lots of power. Like we said, it'll spin both tires in fourth gear uh, pulling that thing. So I know I got to get the tires loaded, but that's one thing. Also, this thing is amazing. This isn't an ad for them. That's what we've used for years on the trails around here. Look, you know, you basically make two passes, and it's like a, it's like a super highway after that. Right, right there, it must be by any blade. I don't know if they're still yeah. in business, but they should be. Unless their patent ran out. Um, and then also the hydraulics. You know, everything else works, but I was worried about the hydraulics, if you guys remember, because um, they still kind of want to drift up as we go. Um, if there's no weight on it, you know. But with that, and that blade's not light either. You know, with that blade on it, they work real strong, and I got real good control because you got to kind of modulate it as you're grading the trails, right? I got real, real good control with that. It's, you know, I'd say just as good as that New Holland. Like you know, those new hydraulics, yeah, you got really good control. Does so that works good. Up on you or no? no, it doesn't drift up. It only drifts up if you don't have a load on. You know, but then if I stand on them, they go down. Yeah. So things to fix um, that PTO shaft. If you guys remember, I took that housing out and put a seal in there. And it looked like the whole back was sheared off. I'll put a clip of that up here. Um, and maybe a snap ring was missing. So it seems like, yeah, see that PTO shaft slides in and out? That's not right. Um, so I'll probably have to get a new housing there for that new snap ring that broke. And then I don't see any drips down here. Um, but I just, that little bit of antifreeze down there is just weirding me out. I don't know what the deal is. I guess it could be maybe bubbling over if I had it overfilled. But that does not give me a warm and fuzzy feeling inside though. But other than that, I mean it's I'm thrilled. I'm amazed. It actually I think it runs as good as it looks. Which is good. Another thing is I, I just am getting a lot of slobbering right out the exhaust i don't know what that is i don't know if the rings aren't right if they're not seated quite yet um, it's not smoking at all you know and i think if the rings weren't right it would smoke and leak oil but someone will let me know in the comments what the deal is there but it's just an old tractor too so it might just be messy and slobbery i don't know but i'm not really worried about the engine not having uh i'm not really worried about the engine not being built right but it is kind of depressing to see a slobber all over the nice paint. All right, there's like a cultivator. It's more like a ripper. Every other shank is missing. That'll probably be a pretty good engine test for it, but it's buried. And before you guys ask, yes, someday we'll get that out. The idea is not to start 87 projects at one time though. You gotta finish them. Right here. So the last time I remember this being used, we had an old 600 that we sold. We had it on that. I don't think my dad could run it all the way. Look at the vines and crap. There. Hey, right over there. We just come back here and stare at it once in a while. Should be a good test for it. All right, I'm gonna start off real slow in like first or second gear. Put it under a load. 
Don't be afraid. Actually, need some bad ground here. Huh. Well, I think I need some loaded tires. And I think what I really need is a three bottom plow for this. Three thing. bottom plow. We'll see. Boy, it hardly makes that motor work. <laughs> I know. You really need some weight on this thing, probably. It's got a lot of power. But I would say success. You know, I think it runs pretty good. I'm happy with it. Yeah. And we put what, maybe an hour or two on it today, you know? That's about it. Sure, it's good. Now I need some land. You can see all the new coming off it still, you know? You've got to get your PTO fix. Yeah. So we can try a brush cutter on there. Yeah, that'll be a good test for it, too. The plow will be tough, too, because I'm not sure. I think I got to set my tire track width right, and then you got to get, so. That's why I didn't get a plow yet. That's going to be a can of worms, I think. But, hmm. all right. I know everyone's probably been pining for an update since we got it done. You know, people wanted to work, see it work, so. To start. There it is. It works, yeah. Yeah, it works. You have to hear it bog a little bit. A little bit. And it's probably got more power than it needs, to be honest with you. It, uh, it's funny. The smoke cleared up pretty much after yeah. it got working. And it would, uh, it was almost a little darker smoke, too, when you're bogging it, you know. Funny. What was the temperature at? Did it didn't move? You got oh, the right Oh, it's term? in the green, finally. You got the right thermostat in it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Huh. She's a peach. Yeah. Thanks for watching. All right. So I do have one question before we go for the viewers, because I know there's some experts out there. Uh, so if I want to get a plow for this, would you guys get a trailer plow or a three-point plow? My thought is with the trailer plow, I might be able to make up, because I got the track width set real wide right now, and I don't really want to be into the game of flipping the tires around and doing all that just to plow. I like where it's at, so my thought is if I get a trailer plow, I can offset it to the side. I have the aux hydraulics, and then I can leave my track width and just set it with the draw bar and the hitch on the trailer plow. Let me know what your thoughts are. There she is all tucked in at the farm. She's a beautiful tractor and I like riding it. But every time I start that Kubota up, it still makes me smile. Man, those things are nice, but I guess it's kind of cool to have both. So Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.